hi guys, it's Inam Kafour here with the Samsung Galaxy S4. We're going to be taking a look at an optical reader application that ships as standard on the Galaxy S4 handset because I think it's got some cool functionality that can come in handy. So in this example, we're going to be using a newspaper, but it could be anything. It could be a poster on a wall, it could be text on a TV screen. So for example, once you've got the application loaded up, if you're unsure of a piece of text, so if English isn't your first language, maybe, or you can additionally download other languages as well, so it doesn't have to be English. So if you're unsure of a word, just hover over the word with that blue crosshair on it. And once it's recognized the word, what should happen is it will display the meaning of that word as it does there. So the word historians is showing as a historian is a person who specializes in the study of history. So if you want to know how to say it as well, hit that speech engine button. Historians. And it has a stab at saying the word. So it kind of gives you a little demo so you can get a gist of the pronunciation there. And obviously if you want to share out the meaning to various sources, just hit that share button and you've got some of the social networking, Facebook, email, text messages, that kind of stuff there. So if we hit a different word, say see how the robot or the speech engine copes with it and hover over documentary, say. There we go. It comes up with the meaning there. So documentary. So as I say, not the best in terms of pronunciation, but it certainly gives you a gist of how to say it. And obviously if you come across a word that it's not in the dictionary, say for example, I'm going to say waterboarded isn't going to be in the dictionary. Let's see if it picks up on that. So it's it's recognised it or not. It's focusing in again. Here we go. And it's having a go. But that's all it does. It doesn't display any meanings. No speech engine or sharing options. Nothing like that at all because it simply doesn't have it in its dictionary and you have to be about three four inches away from the object that you're trying to recognize otherwise it doesn't have a it takes longer to focus in on the on the word father so for example if we pretty close there to the newspaper can't focus in but if we move away from the text it has another go to focus in we're about two three inches away i'm going to say so we'll keep on moving away there we go so we hit the sweet spot there and it's recognized colony as a word in the dictionary colony so speech engine does a good job in pronunciating that particular word but what I like is for example if you don't have time to uh, stand there and focus in on words and try and get them what you can do is take a photograph so for example if we take a photograph of this bold piece of text here so get it in focus for a start and once we're ready take the photograph there we go and it's a little bit blurry but we'll see how it handles it and bring that in a little bit closer and you'll see it's underlined the words that to manage to recognize that are words so we'll tap on say for example tortured and as you can see there it's recognized tortured tortured so speech engine picks up fine and you've got the meaning there underneath as well which is pretty cool but if you go back again say if we pick up on say a different word say i don't know government does it pick up on that? Spelling is correct. Gives you the meaning. Government. And the speech engine is pretty cool there. But let's pick up, say, on a non-normal word. So that name, as you see there, it says it's recognised the word. It's spelt it correctly, but it says not in the dictionary. And you can also add it in from there. But you'll notice at the top of the screen, you've got two languages there. And as standard, you can set two languages. One is a default language, which in my case here is English UK. An additional language you can change. And you can see I've got it set to English US. So you can download additional languages, but we'll come back to that in a sec. But if we go back here, so we're back to the capture of the text that we've taken by the photograph. If you want to convert this image, because essentially that's what it is. It's an image to pure text, just containing those words. Hit that button in the top right there and it gives you kind of a border which you can move around the text that you want to export i'm going to say so if we move that around this piece of text in bold and hit done as you can see there it's detected the text perfectly as per the photograph of the newspaper article even the non-english words that didn't appear within the dictionary there how cool is that? So once you've detected the text, if you want to get it across to any other application that has text input, so for example, hit that sharing button, and if we go across to text messaging, it puts the text in there. You can edit it, change it, do what you please and send it. It doesn't have to be text messages. If we go back to the sharing options there, it could be emails, and it puts the text as you would expect. If you want to copy across the text, just hold it down and move the points across the screen so it's recognize the text 
hit copy and you can put that again as I say into any application that has text input how cool is that so if we just come out of this discard that piece of imagery there and go back again you can also download additional languages so it doesn't have to be English so if we hit that button there the cog you can see you've got English and US set there hit the menu and you've got dictionaries there we'll hit that and it will take us to the dictionaries that we have set on the handset so you can see I've got English to English not very hard so if we hit the download button there and it should take us to a website which allows us to download free dictionaries for Samsung customers so let's have a look we've got English to French French to English English to Italian you've got English to Portuguese you've got uh, what else we've got English to German Russian to English Ukrainian to English you've got a vast majority of dictionaries available that you can download free of charge and detect text from the various media as you've seen here as ever any comments or questions you guys have got hit them up in the comment section down below there give us a thumbs up if you like this video and like what you saw if you haven't already done so hit subscribe it's also down there as well doesn't cost you a penny and you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos thanks for watching have a wicked day and we'll see you next time